Hey there, Thomas here, developer of Happy Files. In today's video, I'm going to show you the brand new Happy Files Pro 1.6, which is now available as a one click update from your WordPress dashboard. All right, before we dive into all of the specifics here that you can see, I've already listed them um, on this page. I want to first quickly thank everyone who has provided feedback for the beta release. It was extremely helpful in order to finalize this 1.6 version so thank you very much all right also if you've been following the happy file story you probably already know that this version marks um, a new beginning really for happy files and the features that we are be able to uh, add um, in the future um, it's now written in Vue.js, which is the same javascript framework that we use for the bricks builder so happy files now also has much more of an app-like experience snappier in the actions and of course now we can enable um, and add more advanced features such as the happy files gallery shortcode generator that i'm also going to show you in this video all right let's just jump right into our media library so i can show you how the interface looks like first of all although this is a complete rewrite if you're up dating from a previous version um, all of your folders or how we call them categories previously um, will stay in place and everything is organized in exactly the same way now the interface looks a little bit different cleaner um, nicer um, in my opinion now the first thing that you will notice up here on the left hand side um, so first of all i'm already just actually mentioned that um, we're now calling our happy files categories folders i think this naming convention makes it a bit clearer and less confusing with things like um, categories here in a specific post type all right so up here we have our folder search so previously we had some um, of our happy files actions here like the create folder button the rename and the delete now all of those actions moved up here into this top toolbar or inside of the custom context menu when you right click on a folder name. Now let's just start at the left here. Um, in order to now create a folder in Happy Files, you would click this little plus icon. Um, it's gonna bring up this folder creation dialog down here. And if you're inside of a folder now also, and you click on create, you will see now this dialog here. Previously, it was always showing up at the top here. So that was a bit confusing because if you need happy files, you weren't really sure where your folder is going to be added. Now, I think this makes it a bit clearer for sure. All right, um, let's go back to our files. Um, select, if we click here, we can now select multiple folders at once. And then we can perform two actions. We can either move our folders in bulk or we can delete our folders and subfolders in bulk as well. Now let's just move some folders around. Of course, you can still do this one by one, but if you have a bunch of folders, like in my case here, I have four folders, which is um, the autumn, spring, summer, and winter. And I want to move all of those folders um, in one go inside of my seasons folder. I would just hover over the folder and then you click on this little move icon here. And now you can see, my four folders are now part of this seasons folder so now i have four subfolders in here now if you want to delete multiple folders same thing you would just select them like in my case i want to delete those three folders and then you click on delete this will open up this um, deletion confirmation dialog so nothing has been deleted yet um, and then you can choose if you only want to select uh, delete the selected folders like those three here you can see them highlighted or if you also want to delete the subfolders inside of those folders so if i click on delete folders and subfolders it's going to delete those four folders that we just moved inside of our seasons folder as well okay so that's the difference between those two let me cancel this action because i actually don't want to delete anything now and move on to the next action. This is the folder toggle. So if we have subfolders, we can either expand them just by clicking this icon here, and then it's gonna expand um, any folder that has any subfolders inside of it. In my case, I only have this one here. So that's what you see um, in this demonstration. If I click it again, I'm gonna collapse them just like that. Now there's a sort action i click it and now i have the ability to sort my files and also my folders now folder sorting was already available previously if i click on sort descending 
it's gonna sort my folder names in a descending order. Ascending, it's gonna sort them the other way around. Now, our files here, we can sort by name, also ascending and descending, date, modified date, and the author. You can use this filter in any of your post types as well. So if you wanna sort your posts or your pages with happy files, you can do that. Now for the media library, we also have the ability to sort by file size, but this is actually a setting I need to enable in happy files first. I'm gonna show you this in a minute, um, but that's the sorting um, of files. Now the last action up here, the details, if I enable details, I can now see the folder ID or the term ID if you're a developer and you wanna run a custom query on the front end, this is the ID that you wanna grab. Now we also got a subfolder count. If you work with a specific subfolder structure in all of your folders, you can quickly see the count here. And then of course, in the end, we have our items count as well. All right, let's hide it again and let's move on to our folder search. And this one is actually case sensitive, so that's pretty cool. If I wanna show all of my folders that start with an S. In my case, that's gonna be a capital S because that's how I start all of my folder names. I would type in capital S and then you can see here, it's gonna show me the results. I have four folders in total, all starting with an S. Now, if I change this to a lowercase S, it's gonna show me all of the folders that contain a lowercase S character. So that's really helpful. Now, if there's no result, you're gonna see this notification here, also telling you that the case um, the search is case sensitive. Now in terms of file uploads, um, there's also a completely new upload progress um, interface. I'm gonna show you that one. Maybe let's just upload some SVG files, which by default are enabled for administrators. And of course I'm inside admin here. Um, uncategorized, there's nothing in here yet. So let's just move some, let's just grab some SVGs from here. My computer, drag them in here. And now you can see this was well, actually pretty quick because I'm on localhost, but yeah, I've uploaded three SVGs here inside um, into this uncategorized folder. Those are the names um, and the file size and they turn green once they're uploaded. Now, if you continue uploading, I'm up upload the fourth one, just like that. Now it uploaded four out of four. Okay, so this is the new upload progress indicator. You wanna close it, you just click on the close icon. All right, let's keep moving and explore some of the new happy file settings. So uh, we have to go to settings and then happy files and one big new feature is actually now the ability to organize your plugins. So under post types, if you're Happy Files Pro user, you will see this plugins post type. I already enabled this, um, so I can organize my plugins. I think actually I already created some folders as well. Now you can see here, I've got 18 plugins in total. Interface is the same on the plugins screen as on any other post type screen. And I have two folders in here, builders and miscellaneous. So that's how I can now also organize my plugins. Pretty cool. Back to the settings. We also have now the ability uh, to disable happy files in the media library. If you're a pro user and you only want to organize your plugins with happy files, you can disable the media library and just enable plugins and pages, for example. Now the default open folder, that's a new setting as well. Um, by default, whenever you load your media library, for example, it's gonna open, let me show you, whatever folder I selected last. So now if I go to uh, docs, it's gonna show me the docs. Now I reload my media library, it's gonna load this folder again. But maybe you wanna always um, view all of your files by default and not having to click here um, or click on uncategorized. Then you can use the setting here and just say all files. Okay, save it. Now, instead of docs, if I reload, it now shows me all files, all right? You can also set this to uncategorized, but that's how this setting works. All right, let's keep moving. Um, there's a new setting here, the infinite scroll, because WordPress 5.8, I think, added this load more button. So if you scroll down your grid view, 
you have to click on this button here, load more, in order to load next, I think, 40 items or so. And if you have a few hundred or a few thousand, obviously, that's going to be a pain, going to take forever. So if you want to bring back the uh, infinite, let me just reload this here. So that's the button by default. Um, if I enable infinite scrolling and then I reload, you will see as you scroll down, it just automatically loads your images. Like in my case here, now everything is loaded. I don't need to click the load more button anymore. So you can bring this feature back by enabling the infinite scroll. And now we can also have a look at the sort by file size. So let's just save our changes. That's step one. Now we enable this filter. There's a second step that we need to perform, which is to generate our file sizes. So we can actually query and sort our files accordingly. So you only need to do this once. You just click here. It's going to go over all of your images. It should be a pretty quick um, process. You can see it sorted all of my files um, 114. That's the total count that I have. Now, if I go to my media library, and then I click on sort, you can now see the file size sorting. Um, this is also available in list view. I actually have another column here now. You can see our file sizes. And then I can say, I wanna sort this descending. So I wanna see my largest files first. And you would just click on descending. If you wanna show it the other way around, the smallest files first, you would just click on ascending. All right, that's how this setting works for your files. Okay, let's go back. Um, that's everything on this tab. There's a new tab here um, called permissions. Now, prior to Happy Files Pro 1.6, you're already able to enable or disable Happy Files for user roles. But now with um, starting at Happy Files 1.6, you actually have a much more granular control over folder access, either per user role, which is what you can set here, um, same for the SVG support. You can also enable or disable it for a specific user role, but you are actually also able now um, to select this for a specific user, which is what I'm going to show you in a minute. One thing I want to show you while I'm on this page is the different access levels that we have now. So obviously as an administrator, you have full access. Um, you can uh, see the happy file sidebar, you can create folders, you can rename folders, you can delete folders, you can move folders around. Um, any other user role by default is only able to view folders. Now, if you want to uh, disable happy files for a specific user role, you would just click on no access. So the happy file sidebar would not show up for um, the editor, whoever has the user role editor on this side, which is the one that I'm going to show you now. Um, so editor has no access, but then I can say the editor should still be able to upload SVG files, just as an example. Um, we have four roles, that's what I mentioned. I'm sorry, I got a little bit carried away there. So full access, we can set um, the view folders, which is the default. Um, you can also allow a user role or a user to upload files to a specific folder. So that means that user is able to view folders, but also upload into a specific folder. Now, if you only have view folders capabilities, means you can see the happy files sidebar, but you cannot upload and categorize your items into the happy files folders. No access obviously means um, it looks basically to that user who is being logged in as if there would be no happy files installed. All right. Now let's do no access here for the editor and let's enable SVG support and let's switch our user, go to this editor. So now you can see I'm using, um, I'm signed into this editor account, which is a user role editor. If I go to media, um, you can now see because we set um, the happy files folder access to uh, no access, there is no concept here of happy files whatsoever. If you would upload an SVG, it would still be possible. So if I upload now an SVG here, you can see it's been uploaded just like that. So that works fine without any problems. Um, let's go back to the admin. Now, if I go to the specific user, I can override those settings as well. If I go here, and I edit this user, you scroll down, 
you can see here the happy file settings um, by default it's going to show you whatever um, folder access has been set for this user role which is no access by default and you can override this so if you want to disable happy files for all of your editors but for this specific editor um, which is more specific obviously um, give full access you can do that just like that and the same also goes for SVG support. If you want to enable SVG uploads for uh, this user role, but you want to disable it for the specific user, that's how you would do it. And then you just click on update user. Okay, and that's how the file, um, the permissions work here in Happy Files for folder access and also for the SVG support. Okay, the last thing I want to show you in this video is the new um, capabilities when using the Happy Files gallery. Now, a lot of you have been using the uh, Happy Files gallery shortcode, and which was, was a little bit cumbersome to actually generate. There was no tool for that. Um, so you need to basically have a, ref have a look at the documentation and then just type it out yourself. Now, if we go to media and let's just say, uh, we have, which one I'm going to use. Um, I've got this folder here. Okay, and now I want to generate a shortcode for it. All I need to do is just to right click on it. And then I have this gallery shortcode action. So if you press this, now what pops up is the gallery shortcode generator. And this is a visual way, a tool for you to automatically um, generate that shortcode. So let me just show you how we can create a happy files gallery. Um, by selecting a different option um, here. Um, for the folders, if you want to select multiple folders, just hold down Control Command. Um, in my case, I'm just going to go with this one folder here. I'm going to change my column count. Now the height and the spacing, those are also new settings previously not available. You can now set the height of an individual image and also the spacing between your images. So if you want to have no spacing whatsoever, we can just set this to zero. And if I want to change the height to something like 25 viewport height, I can just do it like that. And as and you can see, as you uh, play around here with the settings at the bottom, the shortcode is being generated for you. So as you type here, you can see here how my setting changes just like that. Okay. Now you scroll down, image size, you want to link it. No captions. Okay. Lightbox. Okay. Well, this I'm not going to show. And then in the end, all you need to do is just to click on it. Now it's in your clipboard. And then we can just go to one of our pages. Let's just open up a page. I'm going to go to the Happy Files gallery. Actually, I'm going to edit this with bricks because I was also going to show you the next new feature here. So I think it makes sense to work with bricks here. Now, if I go to my shortcode, this in bricks, the shortcode element, um, I already created this structure previously. Now I click here and then I'm going to insert my shortcode and you can now see that my gallery has been generated just like that. No spacing. The height is custom for the individual image here set to 25 viewport height and I'm showing only one folder. Now, of course, if you know how to um, edit the parameters individually. You can also do this. I want to change this from two columns to three. Now I change it to three and I change it to four. I change it to four like that. If I want to have a spacing of 10 pixels, I would just change this to 10 pixels. Just like that, I can customize the shortcode here. Let's save it. And that's the new shortcode generator um, in Happy Files. Now, as a developer of bricks, of course, now I also added the um, a custom element, the Happy Files gallery element to Bricks. So if you're a Bricks user, you can now use this element here under media. Um, it's called Happy Files gallery, which I also already added to my page. So it's here and now I just need to populate it um, using this interface here, which is basically looks similar to the shortcode generator. So I can say I want to show those um, the folder here, C, of course, you can select multiple folders. Um, for me, I'm only going to use that one folder. Then I can change my column count maybe to two. Then the image size, I want to show, use the large image size. So it looks a little bit more high quality. 
Um, max items I can change. Um, actually, I don't want to change that. Captions, subfolders, um, or the lightbox settings. So those are all of the settings that you also have available inside of the shortcode generator. And just like that, inside of Bricks, I can now also use the new happy files gallery element. All right, and that basically concludes the presentation of the new happy files pro 1.6. I hope you enjoy the update and happy organizing. Bye bye.